Narrated by Abu Huraira. That heard Allah's messenger peace be upon him saying, We are the last but will be the foremost to enter paradise, the Prophet added, He who obeys me, obeys Allah, and he who disobeys me, disobeys Allah. He who obeys the chief, obeys me, and he who disobeys the chief, disobeys me. The Imam is like a shelter for whose safety the Muslims should fight and where they should seek protection. If the Imam orders people with righteousness and rules justly, then he will be rewarded for that, and if he does the opposite, he will be responsible for that. Narrated by Ibn Umar When we reached Hudaybiyah in the next year, of the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, not even two men amongst us agreed unanimously as to which was the tree under which we had given the Pledge of Allegiance, and that was out of Allah's mercy. The sub-narrator asked Nafi, for what did the Prophet peace be upon him take their Pledge of Allegiance, was it for death? Nafi replied no, but he took their Pledge of Allegiance for patience. Narrated by Abdullah bin Zaid that in the time of the Battle of Al-Hara a person came to him and said, Ibn Hanzala is taking the Pledge of Allegiance from the people for death. He said, I will never give a Pledge of Allegiance for such a thing to anyone after Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. Narrated by Yazid bin Ubaid. Salama said, I gave the Pledge of Allegiance, Al-Ridwan, to Allah's Messenger peace be upon him and then I moved to the shade of a tree. When the number of people around the Prophet peace be upon him diminished, he said, O Ibn Alakwe, will you not give to me the Pledge of Allegiance? I replied, O Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. I have already given to you the Pledge of Allegiance. He said, Do it again. So I gave the Pledge of Allegiance for the second time. I asked O Abu Muslim. For what did you give he Pledge of Allegiance on that day? He replied, We gave the Pledge of Allegiance for death. 